When you start Adobe XD, you should see a screen that looks a little bit like this. We're going to create our design for the iPhone X. So let's go ahead and click this. And let's make it full screen just so we can see what we're doing. Now, if you don't happen to see this panel over here, just click and you'll be able to see your assets, which should be empty at the moment, but we're going to put them in there in a moment. And let's just take a quick look at uh, XD's interface. So down here, we've got things we can draw with, which is good. We've got three states to this at the top, the design, prototype, and share. We'll come on to those later on. Mostly in this video, we're going to just look at design. And then over here is all the things that we can do with stuff that's selected on the screen. So that's the main thing that we're going to try and do here. Let's go ahead and get started uh, by bringing in a couple of assets uh, for us to work with. We can do this a number of different ways. We can actually drag things in or we can go and choose the file import. So let's try the file import first of all, just so we can see where we are. And I'm going to choose the sky on here. Let's import something this way. And in it comes the sky comes in here. Now, actually, this picture happens to be pretty big. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like this and position it something like that on the screen fine tune it in a minute. Okay, now when you click on it, you can see it's overhanging the edges here, but when you click off, it's sort of, you know, nicely on that particular design. So another way that I like to do things is just to go to in Apple, you can just bring up the finder like this, and I, I can just drag in the things that I wanna look at. So if there's the sky, I've got that already. Uh, I wanna get the city and I wanna get the buildings. So I'm gonna get both of those, just drag them in and drop them here. So there they are, they appear on the screen here. Put this to one side because I want this one in next. And I'm going to place it something like that, I think. And then this guy here, let's drag it in and put it over here. So I hope that's on top. It is on top, which is good. Amazing. And in fact, I think this one needs to come over just to touch this way. So I'm using my arrow keys here just to tap it over a little bit. So there's my three layers. Now, the reason for having those as three separate layers is that we want to animate them separately, which we'll do in the next tutorial. Now, it's important to note that this uh, image came from a website called Unsplash, and I just cut them all out. So there's a couple of ways to bring some of our assets in. Let's go ahead and start adding things like the logo and some instructions and stuff like that. And we'll bring it in by going File, Import, and let's just choose the waves. You can't drag in an Illustrator file. You have to go through File Imports to bring it in. And there it is. There we go. And in fact, I'm going to design it over here off the screen slightly. So first thing I'm going to do is create a circle. I'm going to draw the circle on the screen here just so I get the right size. So something along the lines of that looks good to me. OK, and then I'm going to bring it over here. And then that, that means I should have roughly the right kind of size for this thing. So let's get this and scale it down a touch, bring it here, let's bring it in front so we can see what's going on. And it's important that we're going to make this out of a number of different parts. We're going to create the background and we're going to change the fill in the background. Let's choose a color from off here. So I'm going to choose like a nice light color. So I'll do those, just click on the eyedropper and then choose from on here. And then I'm going to choose this thing called background blur, which makes anything in the background completely sort of um, blur out. So what we'll see is like that photograph in the background, but blurred in the background. So let's click that and it changes the way it looks, but we're going to mess around with it just to get it right. So we're going to bring this up to 50% and that brings the color back into it. And then we're going to bring the brightness of it down just to zero. And then that should be okay in there. Now, if there's something in the background, it would be blurred, but we just got gray. So it's not blurred at the moment. So now I'm going to grab that uh, and copy it and paste it in front and we can see there that's blurred it because it's in front. Now I'm going to turn the background blur off on this one. And what I'm going to do is this one in front is going to be a mask over the shape that I've got here. So if I select those lines, select this front circle, I go to object, I go to um, mask with shape. And we can see there now we can only see those kind of wavy lines right there, which is perfect. And looking at this, I'm probably going to uh, Edit this slightly, push that up just a touch on there because I'm going to put the text in below and I just want to bring it over that way a little. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to put some text in here. So I'm going to write my word uprising, which is all in capitals. So I've just left my capitals on. And I happen to know I've got a, a free typeface. You can find it on the web somewhere called One Day. And I'm going to use that. 
let's bring it up nice and big and then let's change the color of that to let's grab a color like that and then maybe just make it a touch darker like so okay that's working good and I'm gonna take my background image just copy and paste that so it comes forward again take the background blur off it take uh, the fill off it and the border I am gonna choose a color from the border which will be that color right there and then let's make it like six pixels and we'll grab the uprising text and just bring it forward so we can see it easily objects arrange bring to front There we are, and I'm looking at the text. I'm thinking that could possibly be just a little bit smaller in there. So let's make it like 65. There we go. Because what I want is that G to hang out and look like a, an arrow going up. Okay, select all of that. Object group, so it stays together. And we could just pick it all up with one click, which is nice and easy. And we can put it in here which is fantastic for us. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of text on here and our text, let's put it here. And I'm gonna use the typeface Helvetica new, make it about 18 pixels, something like that. And then let's give it a sort of grayish kind of color. Okay, I'm gonna say discover, I want it to be centered. So let's make this text centered. Okay, we'll put that into position and then we'll just make it a little bit darker. It's not quite the right fill colors. There we are. And I think I just made that a little bit bigger as well, maybe like 24. Great, and that's the start for where we wanna be on the beginning of this project. And we go to the top here and just say that this is the loading screen. Just name it as a screen like that. Okay, and so we've got used to bringing in assets. We've got used to positioning them, putting things out on the stage, and then uh, we're gonna save this. So we're gonna choose file and save, and I'm gonna put it on my computer, and I'm gonna name this Uprising Stage 1 and save that. And that's us done for this part of the tutorial.